Hi, I'm Dallas. I'm Jenea. And we're the Texas Review co-chairs, and we are the Undergraduate <laughs> Business Council. So every year, the Undergraduate Business Council tries to do some sort of musical that satirizes UT life. This time, we're going to parody How I Met Your Mother and showcase what life on the 40 acres might look like over the course of four years. The Undergraduate Business Council serves as the representative voice for the Macomb School of Business. We put on a lot of programs every year that help students get involved in professional development or philanthropic efforts, and we tr really try to bring the Macomb's community together. So we like to take a look at life in the passing year uh, and just poke fun at it, like kind of make a satire for UT events and pop culture references. UBC was interested in Texas Review because it's kind of a fun creative outlet for a really more professional organization, so it's like a way for us to do something a little bit different from our usual things. To come. We need to end this now. Our relationship is done. This, this we know. know. Yeah. yeah. This, this we know. know. What we're looking forward to most about Texas Review um, is just having fun. Business Council loves spending time together, um, and we've had a lot of fun putting on this show. We want to show the fruits of our effort. But we also want to prove to people business students are more than just Excel spreadsheets and <laughs> suits and ties. If the Undergraduate Business Council wins, we would like to give the money to one of our past chairs of Texas Review, and she actually got us in the show two years ago, and her mom's battling cancer, so we'd love to be able to donate the money to her and help her and her efforts. Okay, I think this is right. Jester East, ninth floor. My room is 9016. I still can't believe you're starting your freshman year at UT. Move in, weekend. 2038. Woohoo! Dad, please don't woohoo in front of my roommate. I don't want him to think I'm weird. Oh, you'll be fine. Just wait until you start meeting people. You won't be the weirdest one in Austin. Ugh, when was the last time these dorms were renovated? Oh, I'd say probably during the Kanye administration. Well, easy. <laughs> You know, I met your mother here at UT. Really? Yep. Haven't I told you the story of how I met your mother? It all started here, back in campus, back in 2001. <laughs> the beginning of my freshman year. I was excited to start college, but nervous about making new friends. The first person I met was my roommate, your Uncle Michael at our dorm social. Hi, I'm Ned. It's great to finally meet you. Oh, hey, I'm Michael. This is my girlfriend, Daisy. Nice to meet you. Let me introduce you to my roommate. There she is. Woohoo! She looks like she's having a really great time. You two can meet later. Kids, at this point, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. But that's when I, when I saw her. She was gorgeous. Maybe the most beautiful girl I'd seen in my 18 years. Kids, she was totally out of my league. I spent the entirety of my freshman year trying to talk to her, but Aunt Wren never gave me the time of day. Wait, that was Aunt Wren? Where was Mom? Oh yeah, she was there too. But it wasn't until later that I actually started hanging out with her. Kids, it was 2013, and the sophomore slump was hitting me hard. Luckily, I had your Uncle Bernie helping me out. That night, he and I went to a party on West Campus, and I had the full intent of asking Wren out. Bernie, look, there's Wren. Ned, 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 don't waste another night following her around. Tonight will be legend. Wait for it. Wait until UT wins another national championship. Dairy. I'll be around. Look, that girl's cute. Bernie, wait, no. Hi. Have you met Ned? Hey, I'm Nicole. See, that wasn't so bad. Now I just gotta find some action for myself. Did she turn you down? Big time. Whatever, man. Let's ditch this party and get a frosty. Are you going to the game tomorrow? Nah, that'll just make me more upset. <laughs> so, you're gonna be off with me? No, no. Hold on. 
I can tell you about junior year first. Welcome to Kirby Lane. Are you ready to order? Um, I'm still waiting on my girlfriend. Ned, I'm so sorry I'm late. My interview ran long. Kids, during my junior year of college, I was dating a girl named Elizabeth. She was my first love and my first serious relationship. Unfortunately, there was trouble brewing in paradise. Elizabeth, I can't believe you showed up late to my birthday. Ned, it's your half birthday. Whatever. Honey, you're the peanut butter to my jelly, the bevo to my UT, the Kim to my Kanye. Or at least you used to be. Ned, stop. And I know she'll be the death of me. How could I be so dumb? And he's always such a pest to me. The worst is yet to come. We need to end this now. Our relationship is done. This, this we know. know. Yeah. This we know. He told me to settle down. Together. She told me. Good instincts. No, Elizabeth isn't your mom. But breaking up with her is how I finally found the love of my life. To think it took so long. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Hey, do I know you? Yeah, hold on. Do you work at Kirby Lane? I think I remember you. Oh, you're the guy that got dumped last year. <laughs> but wait, I know you from somewhere else too. Were you roommates with Daisy freshman year? Yes. Wait a minute. I've seen you at parties with that burning guy. Yeah, this is crazy. I've run into you so many times, but we've never spoken. I wish we had. Oh, oh my gosh, we better get going. We're gonna make it to graduation on time. Welcome, everyone, to the commencement ceremony for the class of 2016. Your uncle Bernie is still working as a Big Three consultant today. The majority of his salary still goes towards his suits. Michael and Daisy got married a few years later. But their kids went to OU, so we don't really talk to them anymore. <laughs> Aunt Lynn became a world-famous reporter for BuzzFeed. Her first article, Top 10 Conspiracy Theories on Bebo the 14th's Death, went viral in 30 hours. <laughs> and kids, when your mother walked up there, the light hit her smile, and that's when I knew. Even though we missed each other so many times in the past four years, I sure couldn't miss her this time. So, you didn't even talk to mom until the last day of college? That doesn't make sense. Oh, kids, college is one of the best times of my life. But like my relationship with your mom, there's so much to look forward to in life after college. There's a place off Waterloo Bay Street where we got our text and it's boring and cheap. Four years here. 